Well, starting at the end, um, yeah. I think the idea of designer marketing of children to parents um, ha- it raises so many ethical questions uh, and moral questions that I I am opposed to it. I'm very conservative on that that level. But if you back up to the earlier questions about rights, does a child have a right to a mother and a father? Well, by definition, a child has a mother and a father or the, the components, male and female components that would make a child. But by right, I'm not so sure of that. I'm not sure a child has a right to a mother and a father. Um, by definition, there is a mother and a father, but by right, I'm not so sure, or an entitlement, that is. Does a mother or father have a right to parenthood of a natural child? They have the possibility of parenthood um, unless by biology they are not able to conceive a child, but I don't know about a right. I would, unless someone were to try to take that away. In China today, there, I think there is a one family, one child policy. And the reason for it is the, uh, trying to get a hold on this geometrically expanding population and what that does to the environment and to the economy and so forth. So they are limiting the right of a family to one. Uh, If they were to get into real trouble, they might try to limit to zero or have a lottery as to who gets a right. I think that's wrong. But it may be, for a society like theirs, it may be a a case of a necessity. Uh, Hope not. Does a, the other question is, does a mother have a right to a child with no father? Um, I believe so. I believe so. And in fact, I have baptized children of uh, women who have gone to a clinic to have a sperm donor. And the child uh, raised in a congregation and family has done very well. Um, and it was interesting to me that in one case, we used to baptize in public worship, obviously, at St. Mary's. And standing there, I'm sure people did the count and realized there was somebody short in the, there was, there was one male short in the group, and there was no father there. But the mother function is both mother and father in that case. Um, and does a father have a right? Uh, I think kind of the same thing applies. Within, within limits. Um, if it, someone just wants to have one as a commodity, and I worry about that more about young parents today. Uh, one of the things that I've noted as a pastor is the uh, fact that young parents in the congregation where uh, these people are mostly of means, um, young parents would often complain that their time was being inconvenienced by these children that they had. And so they would complain to one another about it and have um, uh, that led to a preschool. And the preschool was, was taking the place of cho- uh, to the parent parental care. And I worried about that. I thought, you know, it, is this because people want a nice car, a nice club, a nice house, a nice friends, and some children? Are they, is this just one more thing you have, and then you decide that it's inconvenient? I don't know. I, I used to worry about that quite a bit. Um, so I don't know where I'm going with that after that, but uh, that, getting back to the consumer preferences, I would say uh, at this point, absolutely not. 